Hi, my name is Mr. Chun and welcome to my study room. Today I'm solving objective questions 8, 9, 21, and 43 of the 2023 1C General Mathematics Paper written by Ghana. I choose to put these four questions together because they appear to be under the same topic quadratic equations. We move on straight to question 8, which reads that the graph of y equals x squared minus 5x plus k passes through the point with coordinate 3, 1. Find the value of k. We start by saying that if the graph y equals x squared minus 5x plus k passes through this point, then it means that the coordinate of this point must satisfy this graph meaning that when we put in the x and the y coordinate of this point into this equation whatever we get at the left hand side should be equal to whatever we get at the right hand side and that is all we are going to do so it means that now that we don't know the value of k we are going to substitute the coordinate of this point into the equation because we've been told already that it passes through it so it will satisfy and whatever value we get for k becomes the answer so let's substitute 3 for x and 1 for y. Alright, so as I said, it's just what I did here. Whatever I see, y, I substituted 1. And whatever I see, x, I substituted 3. So this is in place of y. And this and this are in place of x, just as we have them here and here. So 3 squared is 9. Negative 5 times 3 is negative 15 plus k, as we have it there. Then 9 minus 15 is negative 6. Adding 6 to both sides, we have k to be equal to 7 which when we look to the options is option a and it means that if we now have the equation y equals x squared minus 5x plus 7 because k is 7 the coordinate of this point will satisfy this equation whatever you see x when you put 3 and whatever you see y when you put 1 whatever you get to the left should be equal to whatever you get to the right you can just try that and see if we have one to be equal to three squared minus five x is three plus seven you have one to be equal to nine minus fifteen plus seven so one will be equal to nine minus fifteen negative six plus seven is one so because the left is equal to the right side we say that the 7 is correct for k. That is why this satisfies this equation. Let's move on to the next question, which is question 9. Question 9 says that if 1 half and negative 3 are the roots of px squared plus qx plus r equals 0, find the values of p, q, and r. Telling us that 1 half and negative 3 are the root of this equation it means that if we know the values of p q and r and we solve this quadratic equation the two roots are going to be x equals 1 over 2 or x equals negative 3 so what we are going to do right now is that since we know this as the root of the equation we are going to turn this root into factors and then expand then we compare the coefficients of x squared x and then the constant term with this and those become our answer and turning this root into factors meaning we move this to the left side of the equal to sign to join the x and move this also to the left side of the equal to sign to join the x and that will give us x minus one half because remember when this comes to the left becomes negative then also x plus three equals zero then multiplying through only this by two just to get rid of the fraction we're going to have two x minus one multiplying x plus three equal to zero then now we're going to use the distributive property to multiply meaning these two x will multiply x and then the same two x will multiply three negative one will multiply x and then negative one will multiply three and two x times x will give us two x squared two x times three will give us six x 
negative 1 times x will give us negative x and then negative 1 times 3 will give us negative 3 and this will be equal to 0. For those who might be having problem with the expansion, recently I made a video about expanding binomials and I'll be sharing the link at the top here or even also in the description. So those who might be having problem with the expansion can just watch that video to be fine. Then simplifying further, this is going to give us 2x squared. 6x minus x are like them. So that will give us 5x minus 3 equals 0. Comparing this now with the original equation in the question, we are comparing this and this. So P will be equal to 2. Now we are comparing Q and this. So Q will be equal to 5. And then R will be equal to negative 3. And looking through the option, that is option C. We move on to the next question. Question 21 says that given that x squared minus 11x plus m is the perfect square, find the value of m. I think the main information here is the fact that the question says this expression here is a perfect square. So what meaning does this information add to the expression? I will first rewrite this and then I will say that comparing this with the general or the standard form of a quadratic expression ax squared plus bx plus c a is the coefficient of the x squared which is 1 because when the variable is standing alone then its coefficient is 1 b is the coefficient of x and that will be negative 11 and then c in this case is m right so now that we have this do you remember the discriminant of a quadratic expression yeah i think i have a video on that and i'll be sharing that so the discriminant of a quadratic expression d equals b squared minus 4ac and the idea of discriminant says that if a quadratic expression is a perfect square then the discriminant should be equal to zero if it's a perfect square, the discriminant should be equal to zero. So that means that b squared minus 4ac should be equal to zero. That is what makes this true. So that is what we're going to do now. And then we'll solve for m, just like we did for question a, the very first question for this lesson. That's what we're doing. So substituting a, b, and c into this, we're going to have negative 11 squared. Remember to put it in the parenthesis so that you get positive 121 and not negative 121 minus 4 a is 1 and then c is m should be equal to 0 so negative 11 square is 121 minus 4 times 1 times m will be equal to 4 m and that should be equal to 0 simplifying further this is negative so i move it to the right hand side we get 121 equals 4m because it was negative at the left when we moved the right become positive 4m and then we divide to both sides by 4 and 121 divided by 4 equal to m which can also be written as m equals 121 over 4 and when we look through the options that is option d we move on to the last question for this study Question 43 says that find the values of x for which x plus 1 all over 3x squared minus 12 is not defined. So two things. We are finding the values of x for which the expression here is not defined. I think these are the key information here. And not defined that simply means that for what value of x would this expression here not make sense? or your calculator give you error when you plug in that value or substitute the value of x and a fraction will be undefined if the denominator is zero you can just try that with your calculator do any number over zero let's say one divided by zero or five divided by zero hundred divided by zero or anything your calculator will give you error so that is what we mean by undefined it simply means that zero nothing dividing a number or nothing sharing a number will not make sense 
that will make abnormally huge number which doesn't make sense so our aim will be to make this denominator here zero so that means that if we put a number here that will make this expression the denominator zero that will be true for this question so some people can just imagine and put the answer there and that will be true they can try to try and error but to solve it we will say that this will be undefined when 3 x squared minus 12 is equal to 0 right adding 12 to both sides the expression here will be undefined when 3 x squared is equal to 12 then dividing both sides by 3 we're going to have x squared to be equal to 4 then to get rid of the squared you know what we do we take square root of both sides but because a quadratic equation must have two solutions you're going to put plus or minus here and this and this cancel out we have x equals plus or minus square root of 4 is 2 so looking through our options here the final answer will be d which is negative 2 or positive 2 and again you can try that on your calculator when you put 2 here and you square it, multiply by 3 is 12. 12 minus 12 is 0. And when you put negative 3, you just have to remember to put it in parentheses. Negative 2 squared will be 4. 4 times 3 is 12. 12 minus 12 is 0. So the values of x for which the expression here will be undefined is negative 2 or 2. And this is where we bring today's lesson or study to an end. I hope this has been of help to you. If yes, then kindly consider subscribing to this channel for more videos like this. So we meet again in my study room. Bye-bye.